What's up, guys? Happy New Year. Hope you guys all had a good holiday. Um, just wanted to do an update on my K5. It's been a few weeks since uh, I've um, done anything. I was on vacation for about two weeks. Uh, my son was home from from college for three weeks, so I spent some time with him. Um, hope you guys had a good holiday. And um, just wanted to give you guys an update today on uh, my truck. Um, so I don't know if you guys have watched any of my wheeling videos up to this point. I've only been out a couple times. But the main issue I'm having with the truck uh, right now is steering. Um, the friggin' thing is a death trap on the highway. And... It's not working too well on the trail as well. I mean, it, it gets me where I need to go, but it's definitely the next thing I need to address. So I ordered um, crossover and high steer, um, a, a kit from DIY 4X, <clears throat> and it is actually, uh, it has shipped. It's on my way. It's on its way to my house right now. Um, it's going to hopefully improve everything about my steering because right now it's just really like i said it's not good it is not good at all um so it will be coming hopefully here by the end of the week or beginning of next week um i will show a picture of what the kit looks like right here um diy took good care of me um i really wasn't sure which kit I was going to buy. I was looking at one uh, on here. I was looking at the one on off-road design and, and the one on ballistic fab and basically uh, ended up going with this kit. I think it's going to serve my purpose uh, well. Um, price wasn't really an issue, but it kind of was uh, because it's not a cheap um, kit, but I decided to go with this one. Um, anyway, so that's um, being shipped, like I said, and when I get these parts um, and we get a chance to install them, I definitely will show you guys uh, the full installation video as well. Next up, uh, I ordered today my rock sliders from also from DIY 4X. Um, basically, um, it's there. It's kind of a semi-custom build. You give them your uh, measurements and what uh, degree of rotation you'd like them to be, and then they, they custom make them um, to your liking. Um, I will show you a picture of a standard set right here. And you can see in this picture that it comes with one um, stanchion tube. I actually had it. Um, they can, they'll add as many as you want. I had mine... Um, I had them add one, so mine will come with two, like in this picture here. But in this picture here, it also has those the plating in it, and I'm not going to get that plating. So it'll just be exactly like that with the, with the two stanchion tubes and no plating. Um, they will powder coat it um, a satin black, and basically the... Uh, the crossover and high steer that I ordered is going to come in the same satin black, so it should look pretty good. Um, but anyways, I had them angle the the rock sliders at the maximum, which is 25 degrees, so they'll be up and out of the way as much as possible. Um, it should make the truck look good as well as be functional. Um, I've always, since you know, since I've been having, since I've had it out on the trail, I've been you know really cautious as to not. You know, definitely don't want to hit those rockers, um, trying to protect those. Um, and again, when I get these and we get over there and install them, I'll have a full build video or a full installation video for you guys to check out. Okay, next up, I ordered from my buddy Taryn, who has a hookup on these ARB um, onboard air compressors. Um, he's going to get me one of these. Uh, James and him also have this installed on their rigs. Works really, really well. So I'm kind of um, 
I'm stoked to get one of these. I don't really know where I'm going to install it yet. I know, I mean, obviously it'll be probably in the back of the truck somewhere, but I really don't have, um, I haven't really installed anything in the back of the truck yet because I don't know what kind of layout I want to have, where my spare is going to be, uh, stuff like that. But uh, that will um, most likely be mounted to the side of the truck in the back, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, we'll figure out that when the time comes. But that's uh, another little goodie that I have coming soon. Okay, and last but not least, um, I don't know if you guys saw any pictures <clears throat> of, excuse me, my CB antenna mount um, and antenna, which is, uh, we mounted up a couple weeks ago, and then everybody got busy with ho the holiday and stuff like that. Anyways, my buddy James had uh, at this old Cobra CB that he found in the closet. It was his dad's who passed away a few years ago. And he called me, uh, I was going to order a CB online. He called me and said, Hey man, I came across this CB. It was my dad's. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't want to take your dad's C CB. And his mom basically insisted that I take it. So I was like, I, you know, I'd be honored to take it. So, and it's a great CB. It's, you know, Cobra. They've been around forever. So, um, I ended up having to order a mount for it. Uh, cause it didn't have one. So I got that ordered and everything else I need to mount it up. Uh, we just need to get in there and figure out where we're going to mount it and wire it up and it should be good to go. So I can, uh, actually talk to people while we're on the trail. All right, YouTube, that's it. That's it for the updates. Um, that's a lot. Um, I spent a shit ton of money on all this crap. Um, need to get this stuff installed and then I can move on to the next projects um the list is still long um i'm thinking after this stuff uh breaks are definitely uh, one of the things i need to address um so i don't kill somebody but uh we'll just you know take it one step at a time anyways thanks for hanging out um again i hope you guys had a good holiday and we'll talk to you guys soon later